There are breaks if you want them. The grease monkey's mecton is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? Might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. Imagine that. You could just go to a place like this to get a proper meal back in the old world. Neutralized. Halfway there. Feels good to be alive. That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. Let's see. 
in Mo. Diava. This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. Claims he goes after the most dangerous game. Huge monsters. Moog says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Out there with the monsters, it's kill or be killed. Which will it be for you? You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. When it comes to monsters, he mostly picks who dies. Says it's wild that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Gets why you're thinning the herd so hard, but he wishes you'd leave some monsters for everybody else. Says you should give up on working with the stubborn myriad. He keeps trying to put out their lights and they keep putting up new ones. He's afraid you're just as stubborn as them. But enough of that, right? He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore, and if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Says as big as they are, the world is bigger. To find where they are, you need to see where they've been. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. Says you stick to the haunting and shots present themselves later. Let's see. Gulp in some air.
Wait, it's the Scrip Hole Up. Place is just filled with critters. It's time for an adventure, for good or bad. Once the volatilization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. Yeah. Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance there. yours now. Sure is dark out. <coughs> Stuck with you now. You need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework.
darkness makes you miss the light. He says that's enough scripts to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. <laughs> It's not his cleanest invention so far, but it gets the job done. Use it to suck up gooey oil puddles in the Mecton's way so you can pass. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now, otherwise he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. He asks you to not even think about taking on the Jumbo Puff on foot. You'll need the Mecton to do the job, take his word for it. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff. There are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mecton with on your own. He got the idea to build the Mecton when he found a big crate containing the metal frame for something Toxanol had named an exoskeleton. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Happy that you're helping keep the balance of things all day long. Wonders if you'll ever change because you seem just as centered now as you did as a kid. Understands you have things to do. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Thinks you're a fool if you don't get in on the action of the world tipping over the edge. Says you're welcome back. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Seems surprised you have to go. Boom, boom. 
Where are the control sticks on this thing? It's a rare sight. Treasure it. Wildlife here is teetering on the brink of extinction. We all are. The meat eater again. Nothing seems to satiate his hunger. The gnote is done for unless you intervene. See what this thing can do. The Grotto. It's deep enough to explore. Sure, you're ready for this mech, Tom. Enough of that.
makes a jumbo tough with an appetite ain't no fuzz. Better put an end to it before it ends our world. Jumbo Puff is kicking it up a notch. It's time for an electric performance. Ouch. A couple of more hits and it's a fried circuit board. bad feeling about this. It goes all the way down to the stomach. Start like a snack and you'll end up with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel way. You see, it's what's on the Taurus is pumping at half a beat. You know what to do. Wow, what a super-sized worm whip. That must be as big as they come. down with a throw-up. Can it really get any better than that? He thanks you for dealing with the first World Eater. It's a start. 
capable of matter. Get a one thing. You should go see out of date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. What? Get out of work at a match game. You're good hearted enough, so you'll have no problem getting him to share the information with you. He trusts you know where to find out of date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed. Find me. Gizmo will always make time for you. The Netra tribe built everything they have from weathered rock. Hopes to see you again soon. Gizmo will always make time for you. Says you should take it easy. It's an intact plant hut over there. Wonder what's growing in it. There's always an edge to the woods. Go on, catch it. <laughs> 